Hello, this is Victor I'm here with a new Yield in Depth. And now yeah, we keep talking about uh, Chaos Space Marines, uh, we keep on the elite choices. And now it's time for the core Desecker. So we start doing the units dedicated, the elite units dedicated to the different gods. Be aware that if you have a, a, a Chaos Lord with the mark of core, they will become troops. So they will be they will move from elites to troops. The same as you take Khan the Betrayer uh, in the primary detachment, the Berserkers will become, the core Berserkers will become troops. So although they are on the elites, they can be troops depending on the army build. So let's make a look to the army, uh, to the unit, sorry. So we pay 105 points for a core Berserker and a Berserker champion. The uh, Conversaker have Weapon Skill 5, that is better than the uh, Standard Space Marines, Ballistic Skill 4, Strength and Toughness 4, 1 Wound, Initiative 4, 1 Attack, Leadership 8, and 3 plus saves. So the only real advantage we see here on the profile is that he has better Weapon Skill. On the rest of the abilities, he, is, he has the same as any other Space Marine. Uh, for the champion, we see the same upgrades that we see for the champions in Chaos is plus one attack and plus one leadership. So, they have two attacks and leadership, nine. One here, one here they have power weapon, power armor, sorry, ball pistol, close combat weapon, frag and clan grenades. So, no bolter for them. So, of course, they are Berserkers of Corn, they are dedicated to the close combat. And yeah, and they have a ball pistol and close combat weapon. This means that they have two attacks. Uh, special rules: uh, the champions is a uh, have the champion only, so he have to as any champion in the Chaos Space Marines have to issue and accept challenges uh, any time this possible. They are fearless. They have furious charge, and they have the mark of corn. So Mark of Corn, remember, give them Rage and Counter Attack. So that means that they always count as Assaulting. But if they Assault, they have plus two attacks. So when they are Assaulting, they will have two attacks, because they have one attack plus additional weapon. Uh, they will have plus two attacks because of Rage, and they will have a Strength 5. So this, this is making them quite scary on the Assault. But remember that the weapon they have doesn't have any AP. Let's do to the options. So in the options, uh, they can might take up to 15 corn berserkers. So they can you can make a unit of up to 20. I don't think you can you want to go to that big number of berserkers of corn. They cost 19 points for each. So it means that uh, 10 more will uh, yeah means that five will cost 95 points. So if you want to do a unit of 10, it's 200 points. If you want to do a unit of 20, it's going to be um, 390 points, almost 400. And this without any type of equipment. Uh, any model can take the chain axe. The chain axe costs 3 points per model. And what is, uh, is the same as the chainsaw with the defense that it has AP4. So if you are going to, if you know that you are going to fight against, um, for example, Necrons or against a Tau or something or any enemy that you know that is using um, troops with um, armor for, this can be a good choice. Uh, I have some in my army. I use uh, normally I, I use them. What you see is what they get. So I pay these points from time to time. I don't think it's really a worth it upgrade most of the times, it's not going to be very useful. But here you have this choice, and if you know the, uh, which army you're going to fight before the battle, this can be an option that you want to evaluate. Remember, 3 points per unit, I per, uh, uh, per miniature, so it means if you are using this on 9 guys, because you, I guess you want the champion with better options, you are spending 27 points. It's, we go to quite expensive units. If you will see, base uh, base for ten is one hundred ninety points. Uh, with all the grades, you will be you will go over two hundred most of the times. 
Then we have the next option, add to two corn berserkers may replace the gold pistols by plasma pistols. And this is expensive, 15 points for this option is quite expensive. Uh, but if you don't have any other option, you don't have any other shooting option, plasma pistol can be good. Be aware that you will shoot once, and if you sh if you draw a one, you will you have the risk of losing Converseker that is quite expensive because this Converseker will cost you uh, 34 points, 19 because it's the cost of one Berserker plus 15 points is 34 points. I use them because I play, I, I build up them with the plasma pistol. I'm not very convinced that you need this upgrade on the Berserkers. I think you should do other units to have this shooting ability. The Berserker champion might take items from melee and from range weapons. And I think here what you want to look is on the melee. And I think this is the guy that will need a power sword or a power fist. The risk of the power fist is that you attack at initiative one. And you, remember, you have to issue and accept challenge anytime that is possible. What that means? That if you are in a challenge and your enemy has a, have a power sword, you can die even before you can strike a single hit. So be careful with the choice. This can limit your champion. Uh, the same happens with the power axe. If you go for power axe, also can limit uh, what your champion can do because you cannot uh, deny a challenge. You cannot uh, reject a challenge. Uh, so these are there. Then the Berserker champion might take the give of mutation as any champion for 10 points. I still believe this is too expensive, 10 points for a give of mutation. Normal, uh, most of the greats will not do any will not give any benefit to, to your uh, champion. Although when you go to close combat, most of them are more useful. For example, if you take plus one ballistic skill, what is the advantage of that? If you get a desert warrior, why you want that? A uh, plus one attack can be good. Plus one to initiative, depending. If you have a power fist, it's on a waste. So you have to be very careful because most of the uh, chaos bone table upgrades are not a good, I think they should cost five points maximum. Ten points, I feel, is too much. Uh, uh, remember that when you get this uh, as a uh, as equipment at the beginning, you reroll if you are transforming to spawn or if you are transformed into. A demon prince, so this cannot happen from the beginning of the battle. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, they can take the Berserker champion can take Melta Bombs. If you don't take the Power Fist, I highly recommend the Melta Bombs, just in case you get engaged with a Dreadnought or you get engaged with any type of Walker. Uh, you want this to disengage. Also, uh, together with the Crack Grenades, if you have a Melta Bomb there, it's, it, this can be also a good way to hunt some vehicles in close combat. It's not the best use, I would say, for the Berserkers, but they are going to be exposed to the close combat, so they, they are exposed to be countercharged by a Dreadnought. So you want some tools not to get stuck on front of a Dreadnought, being, uh, not being able to do the damage that you want to do, and see how all your uh, unit is disseminated just by an inexpensive Dreadnought. Uh, one model in the unit might take the icon of wrath. Uh, I don't like a lot the icons for corn. The icon of wrath give them furious charge. They already have furious charge, and they can roll the charge range. This second can be useful, but 15 points, I'm not sure. Uh, you can balance. If you have 15 points extra in your army, you can try to use it. I don't use the icon of wrath. And the unit can take veterans of the long war, uh, a special rule. Uh, of course, if you know that you are going to play against marines, you have to take it. It's not, uh, yeah, you don't have to think about that because you get, you get hatred against space marines, and this is a, a very good rule. Uh, if you don't know, uh, for one point plus one to leadership, you put the, the unit to leadership 10. Here is not important. It's not that important unless you, you are objective. If you've been targeted by a, a power city that I go against um, uh, leadership. But it's not that important for the Converseckers because they have a uh, fearless and most of the times they will ignore any check of leadership. Uh, and then at the end they can take a rhino as a dedicated transport. So remember, you can use the rhino to do half of the way to the enemy. 
they will give extra protection. I think they usually did, uh, did some type, some so, some type of uh, transport. Or you use a rhino that is very cheap, but you have to take in mind that you cannot assault from a rhino. Or the next option that you have, and here is why we have all the limitations in this codex. Or you need to use a land rider. We don't have block pots like in the space marines. Basically. So yeah, land rider is another option. Land rider, you you want to put nine space marines with a character inside. This can be very scary in close combat. This can be quite strong. I use this, but remember, land rider that you have for the chaos, it's only the the normal land rider, the one with last cannons uh, on the sides, and I don't think they can have any sort of cannon. Let me check the options they have. The land rider, yeah, the land rider we have is the twin wing heavy water, twin wing last cannons, things like and the small launchers. No more upgrades, no more options. So it's the very basic land rider, the one that is, is the old school land rider. So yeah, this is another option. Uh, personally, I use them normally on rhinos. I run them on number of eights because this is the number of core, and I build them by NM my units are on units of eight. Uh, upgrades, I think the other upgrade that is really worth it is the uh, power fist or power sword or power axe on the on the champion. I think the other upgrades. Uh, it's a lot of points for a unit that will be in close combat. You want them to be engaged in close combat, and for a shot of plasma pistol on the battle, I'm not sure that you want to spend 15 points. So yeah, this is my review. Uh, please let me know. This unit used to be was very popular in, in fourth and fifth edition, but today is not a popular. Why? Because the close the close combat in seventh is not favorable. It's more favorable to go to shooting. So. Yeah, this is my comments. Is it still a unit that I like to use? Is a unit that I like? It's quite expensive. I use plasma pistols because I I have the miniature with plasma pistols. Although I will not recommend that. And yeah, and that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.